Welcome back everybody. I'm gonna do a quick tutorial on how the cassette toilet works in this uh, North Star truck camper. Stay tuned. So you don't have to pop up the truck camper to empty the cassette, but I'm gonna pop it up so I can go inside and show you guys a few things with it. All right, come on in. Okay, so this cassette toilet is made by a company called Thetford. I'm pretty sure it's a European company. And uh, it's located in this uh, little squared off area here in the back part of the truck camper. If you look up here, there's actually a shower curtain and a skylight also. That's because uh, this doubles as a shower. Okay, so you just come over and unlatch that. Then we've got a shower floor down in here. There's a little crack in it, so we epoxied it, right? These are the shower components, but this is the, the cassette toilet itself. And you lift it up and there's your bathroom, okay? This blue button right here, this is how you flush. And right now it's flushing with RV antifreeze. That's because they're just uh, finishing up winter time. In the summertime, we'll fill it up with water and we just flush it with water. And then to uh, flush it, or to dump it you just do that so this space kind of doubles as like a place where we keep a trash can i put a gas can in there in the winter time uh for the generator and uh our little broom and, and dustpan hang on the wall right there there's a hot water heater so you can take a hot shower in that space usually what we do if we take a shower is we use the outdoor shower and we'll just be mindful of where we're parked a lot of times we do boondock camping so it's okay if a little bit of water ends up on the ground okay i'm going to go outside and i'm going to show you the steps that we use to uh, empty this thing all right so we have this big storage cabinet right here and in this cabinet we keep uh nitro gloves we keep some bleach wipes these two things are crucial when you're emptying the cassette toilet. Okay, so I like to sit these things right here on the stairs so that they are in uh, quick access. All right, so we're gonna open this bad boy. This is where the cassette is. I always keep a little thing of this in here too. And that's what it looks like. We'll flip the camera around. I'll give you a little better view. Okay, so I think this thing has a capacity of about five gallons. This is our indicator about of, uh, how much RV antifreeze or water we have to flush. Uh, this would last a fairly long time. Looks like we got a part number right there. Uh, put our gloves on here. I need to take my watch off when I'm doing this too. We have a couple bleach wipes ready. So you can dump one of these cassettes in like a um, for sure is pit toilet. We're pretty lucky here. We have a clean out drain uh, so I can just unscrew a cap and have direct access to the sewer line here. So sometimes I'll just empty it at the house. That's what I'm doing today. I'm gonna pull this out of the way. This is where you normally would fill it. We'll open that up like that. Then we'll take this bad boy out. That's what it looks like. Okay, so here's this thing. This is a button, so when you're dumping, that lets air uh, purge out of the system so that it doesn't kind of guzzle back on you. You can see there's a cap right there, and this is a funnel that's supposed to be for filling the flush tank. I never use that. I usually just kind of toss it to the side right now. Obviously, you don't want to mess with this stuff in the middle because that's the part that allows it to connect to the... Uh, it's a toilet and flush when it's inside the camper. So we'll uh, unscrew this guy. Go dump this and be right back. All right, that's that, it's dumped. Um, we're gonna wipe it down with some bleach and I'll give you a couple more pointers here. Make sure you always clean this cap. So this thing has wheels on it and a handle that comes out. I think it was a piece of luggage. Uh, I, I wouldn't recommend doing that. Um, I always carry it level like this. I've had a little bit of uh, liquid seep out of here before. It's the purge valve so that when you're dumping it, it doesn't you know, glug out too bad. I don't use this rolly handle thing. I guess if you had to, you could, maybe on a brand new and this perfectly seals, but uh, just a heads up on that. 
We always have hand sanitizer handy too. I forgot about that part. So you put it back in there and then just, and you'll hear it snap and know that it's in place. So like I said, I think the capacity is about five gallons. Uh, we rarely have solids in this. It's almost always just liquids. Um, there's some more information on That's how all that stuff works. Close it back. We'll dump a little bit of this inside too. So after I emptied, I, I like to come in here and flush some liquid in it and then snap it open and shut just to make sure the mechanism is properly seated. I don't want to find out that uh, I didn't put it back in place correctly when the toilet bowl's full of something, if that makes sense. This is some kind of enzyme stuff that makes it not smell. Um, it, you don't have to use a whole lot of it, but, you know, I'll give it a good splash. That'll probably be more than enough, but, uh, you know, if a little bit's good, a lot's better with, with this kind of stuff. Okay, we'll give it, a, give it a flush and see what happens. I probably should have opened it before I even dumped anything in there. Oh, it's working correctly though, so we're good. All right, there you have it, folks. It's pretty easy. Um, you, know, you know, obviously you want to be cautious if you're dumping the thing in a public place. You don't want to like slosh stuff out. Uh, you want to be mindful of that. Uh, otherwise, it's a, it's a great little system. It's not like there's a whole lot of pipes or anything to, to freeze up or um things to create complications because the cassette is directly under the the toilet bowl so pretty straightforward uh practical approach if you ask me i'll put my juice back in here in the summertime i'll go ahead and put another one in there because we use this thing so much the stuff goes pretty quick all right let's close this thing up Well, there you have it, folks. Quick and easy. Uh, click like and subscribe if you like the video and uh, stay tuned. We've got some new content coming out soon.